Well, welcome to another episode of Chef Rob. Tonight we're going to do, over a campfire, a delicious ribeye steak. Two ears of corn. And for dessert, we're going to make a peach dump cake. And this will be made, the peach dump cake will be made in the Dutch oven. So stick with me and we'll see how it goes. Well, while we're waiting for the fire to start, we can go ahead and create the dump cake. So let's just get some of this stuff out of the way. And the first thing we're going to do is we line the, uh, the pot with tin foil just to make the cleanup easier. I'm going to spray the inside with some Pam butter. Try to get all all little nooks and crannies so it doesn't stick too bad. Okay. Then we're going to... This is really easy. I mean, pay attention because you might mess it up. I'm going to dump two cans of peaches. And these are sliced peaches in heavy sauce, um, undrained. Uh, spread them out a little bit so they're even. Next, we're going to take this perfectly moist classic yellow cake. We're going to open this sucker up. And nothing ever opens easy, so we'll just with a pair of scissors. There we go. And now we're just going to spread this around. Like so. And kind of even it out a little bit. I'm going to, I love adding things and making it my own, so I'm going to add some cinnamon sugar. And sprinkle that around on the top. Now, we need to add a whole bunch of butter. So we'll get the, let's see. Yeah, 12 tablespoons full of butter. This is dietetic, can't you tell? So. And this uh, pot's going to end up sitting right on the fire. And then the top of the pot has actually got a lip so that. I can put some coals on top of it so it gets baked top and bottom. I'm just putting the uh, patties of butter in and I'm arranging them in what I consider a very artistic manner. And then we need another basically four tablespoons, so it's probably hard to get too much butter. Once the coals are ready, it takes, uh, well, I'm not sure because I've never made this before, but from what I can see, it takes about 30 35 minutes. So we will 
wait until the coals get nice and hot. Then we'll put this on. Then we'll make our steak and our corn. The corn's defrosted and I rolled it up with butter, um, salt and pepper. So that should be okay. It should only take probably four or five minutes aside, if that. But I don't care if I burn a little bit. Oh, so let me show you. Here's the uh, top of the pot. So it's got this ridge. Just put it right down like that, and it's ready to go on the fire. All we have to do is wait for the fire. Well, we've got a pretty good bed of coals here. I had a little change of plans. I decided not to start the dump cake until I was ready to eat my dinner. That way I don't have to, I got 30 minutes to eat and not worry about it. So we're going to cook the corn and the steak first and then when I take that off I will put the dump cake on and start the timer. Okay, we're going to call it good. She was even more, pushing herself to be her best. She took her fight to the world stage, inspiring others to choose to be there. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Leave that for 30 minutes. Yeah, it's bubbling away still, so we'll let it sit there for a while. I'm going to put the top back on, but I did take the coals off the top, so it'll quit cooking. It smells really, really good, and it's still pretty hot. So we're going to take it inside and eat this, and let the rest. Well, of like they say, the proof is in the pudding. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is really good, and I think that cinnamon sugar gave it an extra kick. It is good. Reminds me of a cinnamon crumb cake with the peaches in it. Anyway, again, thanks for joining for another episode of Chef Rob Cooks Over the Campfire. Mmm.